Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to decode a JWT token in your job, uh, in your web protocol script, which is in C language. So, uh, uh, in, this is a simple JWT token. So, as we don't have any current application to uh, use the JWT token authentication for JWT token response, I mean the JWT tokens which we get in a response code and to uh, create a demo. So, just for the time being, have created a simple JWT token using a web application. Uh, on an application and I edited a few variables and I got the email and the last name as one of my parameters in my JWT tokens. Okay, so this is the encoded JWT token. So each JWT token before encoding and after encoding, we will have three components. One is signature header and payload and another is signature. So uh, even in the encoded string, so if you see the three components are colored differently. The first is a red and second is a purple and the other is blue. Okay, so the first is a header, the second one is the actual payload and this is a signature. So I am copying this uh, this uh, encoded uh, JWT token and I am copying here. Once I once I replace this, uh, so actually I am copying this uh, uh, this value from the application and I created it and I saved into one of the variable called JWT. Okay, LR save, LR save string. So uh, I am I'm passing the string and I am saving into the JWT, JWT variable. Okay, now as we don't have a direct option, direct uh, uh, flexibility uh, to uh, decode the JWT token. So we are using one of the best way is just running the JavaScript. So we can use JavaScript to decode a, a JWT token or we have another option that we need to uh, write that in a C language. So we need to replace, uh, we need to split the first JWT token into three components uh, using dot and we need to get the actual payload. Uh, we need to get the actual payload. Uh, from the payload, we need to replace the hyphen with place and uh, uh, underscore with slash and then we need to decode uh, base 64. I mean, it will, we need to decode the base in base 64 format. So as we don't have currently to, I mean, privilege of base 64 in C here. And if you want to do that, so we need to add a separate C file and we need to make use of it. So that's a big uh, code. So big uh, uh, logic. So instead of that, I'm making that simple. So now, uh, even in, in this uh, JavaScript also, uh, we don't have a default functionality that works here. So actually we will have a A to B function which supports uh, the basics for decoding. But here in the load runner uh, JavaScript engine, it doesn't support. So that's the reason why what, what we have did like we have copied the base 64 functionality from, uh, from the link which I'm highlighting here and uh, copied the base 64 encoding and decoding functionality here. Okay. So once we have that, uh, this is the actual functionality what we need to do okay the, uh, so we have a three steps that we need to do just to get a decoding uh, uh, decode jot so first thing is we need to split the jot token and get the actual payload where what you want to decode okay i get i got the payload here after the payload you need to replace the uh, hyphen with place so uh, currently this JavaScript engine also not supports the replace all function. So we have a replace all function for the JavaScript engines, but somehow this JavaScript uh, engine is not supporting the replace all function. So that is the reason why we have using a workaround, uh, which will uh, which will use that like a, will, when you do a split, it will come into array. Uh, using that array, we can join that all the arrays uh, with place. So uh, instead of uh, replace all, we are using the split and join concept here. So once we have done with the hyphen replace with place, we need to use underscore replace with slash. Okay, I underscore replace with slash. After the underscore replace, we need to decode the actual value. Okay, the value what we uh, got after replacing the uh, hyphen with place and underscore with a slash, that value has to be decoded basic using, I mean, you need to use base 64 decoding mechanism and we need to decode it. So uh, you, you can, I mean, you can use the same function 
uh, I mean, you can uh, type it by seeing here, which is not a big uh, deal. And the rest code need to copy from the URL. So I'm showing the URL here. So you can copy uh, the basics for code from the uh, GitHub and you can paste directly here. Uh, and uh, you will have a the two files, base64 binary and base64. If you go to this URL, you will have two your two files, two files. So let me let me tell you which file you need to pick up. So you need to copy this file. So base encode decode.js. Okay, so you will have another file, base64 binary.js. So I'm not uh, I'm not taking that. So I'm taking the base64 encode decode.js. You can copy this con con uh, you can copy this complete code here from here to uh, here. You can paste paste this here. Paste it here. paste here and you can use the base64 you're you creating a variable as base64 under that you have function uh, uh, decode so take the uh, base64 decode here after decoding you will have a uh, you will have a, a readable format string so from this from this thing uh, if you are able to replace i mean you can use the json dot pass uh, if your your parsing is done perfectly uh, if, I mean, if your parsing has done perfectly, you will see this output. So if you see this new slash zero, new slash zero, so then JSON parse will not work. So you need to, you need to replace that string also. Uh, you need to replace that string also. So that's the reason why I have not decoded here. So if you want to decode, you can use the LR underscore save search. So we have, we'll have another method. We'll have another method called LR underscore save underscore search so here we need to pass our uh, variable uh, load runner variable and then we can apply the regular expression here and you can get the uh, you can get the uh, data so i have given the example of lr search in another script in another video uh, please uh, use that also for the more for more information uh, so this is how we can we can uh, decode uh, the jaw token so we have a javascript ready here we have a javascript ready here that the function name is a decode and the most important factor is so you will be getting the jaw token from the, some of the api call response right so if you see that i'm not passing the uh, jaw token in the javascript function so instead of that so i'm using lr dot get param so this is the lr code that will help you get the uh, get the LR parameter, LR parameter, uh, what it, why you're running your JavaScript, okay? So uh, if you take this function and copy it in your browser or another JavaScript engine and you paste it, it won't work because we are getting the, we are getting the dynamic parameter from the load runner uh, using LR dot get param and this is the variable name. So if you see that this is my variable name and I'm using the same, same variable name, here same variable name here so uh, this is how we are passing it uh, and next this is the this is a syntax this is a syntax to run a javascript uh, javascript from your load runner uh, main file okay so here i am calling the code uh, in the code which code you want to execute so i want to execute the function called jwt okay uh, and that function is in the is in uh, file jwt extracted.js which is in the extra file which is in the extra file so please uh, make sure and the written written data will be saved in paraban please make sure that you have attached the uh, right file name here with the extension and you are using the code with the same function name what you have in your uh, js file and make sure if you want to get any dynamic variables from your uh, uh, dynamic variables variables from uh, your load runner script you can get it from the uh, statement called lr dot get param okay so this uh, i hope this will help you in your uh, performance scripting thanks for listening this friends please do subscribe and share the video